Hello and welcome to another episode of Ezoic Explains. I'm Whitney Wright and I'm here in Cleveland for Content Marketing World. Content Marketing World is a large event for marketers to learn content strategy and get new content ideas and they have some incredible speakers and hosts here including people from BuzzFeed, Hearst, Forbes, NASCAR even. Um, there's over 15 tracks that you can follow. They all um, are related to marketing, visual storytelling, uh, SEO, branding, um, or you can kind of do a grab bag of different subjects depending on what you're looking for. And um, you learn new things about storytelling, uh, ROI, AI, uh, really anything that you could want to know about marketing, they have here and they have speakers um, and experts. Um, one of the features here this year, actually, for the final speaker was Mindy Kaling, um, actress, producer, writer, director. So after such a jam-packed couple, last couple of days, content, information overload, what were the key takeaways here? Overall, we learned that people are much more interested in personal relationships. They're sick of the gimmicks, impersonal relationships with brands, influencers, and publishers. Every session and keynote that we attended indicated that authenticity, transparency, truthfulness is really what's driving consumers and online audiences, now more than ever. And part of this is really about paying attention to your audience's needs and their questions. Um, as a creative marketing associate here at Azoic, I kind of focused on visual storytelling and uh, the more like visual creative track. And so one of the number one takeaways from a creative side was that people want stories. They want real human stories and emotions, not just information or pretty pictures. There are even ways that you can make informational content more personal uh, by letting the audience guide your content. Don't tell the audience what they should know. Let them tell you what they want to know. Uh, you can get more on their level through simply relating to their frustrations or concerns uh, with an example of your own or what you've heard from other people in your audience. Uh, additionally, good storytelling involves vulnerability and drama. All stories have arcs, even a how-to video. There's the introduction, uh, there's a problem you're gonna solve, you walk them through the solution, and then there's maybe some speed bumps, that final climax of the story, and then there's a conclusion. People like stories and they will look for them even in the most unassuming places. Um, and so that's a big takeaway for me as a creative person is how can I use what I'm making to tell a story even if it's something like technology. Um, and then we also had Sarah here, our social media and brand marketing strategist for Ezoic. And something that she kind of took away from this was that uh, LinkedIn is one of the more complicated things that's currently happening right now. They are always adding more features, there's more algorithms, trying to get attention, engagement to your company and page, and they have visual campaigns even in the header, um, call to action, and a lot of companies don't know how to utilize LinkedIn in the most effective way at this point since it's been changing so much, and a lot of people don't even know that these resources or things exist and how much value it can bring to your content. Um, another thing that she really kind of touched on here was social media, which can be a hard thing to try to tackle, especially if you're not familiar with social media, if you're just kind of getting started on it, or you know, you just kind of done it because that's what your company needed at the time, but you weren't really invested in it. Um, one of the best ways that you can talk the talk and walk the walk without really knowing how is if you just think about the people in your audience, the places, products, events, or experiences that they want um, to see and just find a way to relate to them and put that out as your content. Uh, it's a great way to relate to your audience and give them what they want without really having a lot of effort on your part trying to come up with content. You can use your stories to kind of post a more behind the scenes, imperfect, unpolished uh, part of your content or your business or your brand. And it's kind of the only platform and specific section of Instagram platform that you can do that and people want it. People want the authenticity, they want to see behind the scenes, they want to see that you're real people. Um, and so you can use Instagram stories to relate to your audience in that way. Um, if you're a person that works with influencers, uh, industry influencers should not be measured by follower count, but instead uh, they should look at knowledge and impact. Uh, these are two-way and long-term relationships and they need to be more 
um, collaborative van, they are simply just sponsorship and getting your product out there. People are kind of over this fake, uh, picture perfect Instagram influencer. They want more real. And then lastly, um, Alan, who is our content marketing associate here at Azoic, um, he took away some things about content marketing and writing that stood out to him. Um, and one of those things is voice search. We've gone over this before again and again. We have a blog about how to optimize for voice search. We have um, a blog on rich snippets. And you put these two together and this is how you can optimize for voice search very simply. If you rank for featured snippets on Google, you will be a top voice search result um, because it's just one kind of sentence answers. It's quick and to the point. And that's what people want with voice search. They don't want this long paragraph. They can't retain the information. Um, and so, like I said, we have a blog on both of those. Uh, voice search isn't going away anytime soon, but um, optimizing your content to appear in those rich snippets to be um, at the top result of voice search is a great way to get on the front page while also keeping up with this kind of voice search trend that's happening. Lastly, something that we all know but hate to hear, ranked content is always good. Good content isn't always ranked. Um, you can help your content get past this hump by building a stronger customer-centric foundation uh, with three different steps that the speaker uh, gave us. One of those is key personas and you wanna think about who your audience is or who you want to be using your product or service. Who are these people that are engaging with your content and create a persona out of them. Uh, secondly, there's customer journey alignment. Align your content creation to meet the needs of the customer at different parts of their customer journey. So first they become aware of your product or your uh, publication and then they evaluate it, see if they like it. Um, they might come back multiple times uh, then you have the conversion where they actually want to use your product and then you have loyalty at the very end And that's really key is getting that loyalty from people that are using your product or going on your website um, Because they are your biggest advocates at that point And so you need to find a way to be on that journey with your customer the entire time and lastly the last point was um, Content audit and assessment you need to look at how your content is performing what content can be augmented to be more relevant or meet your readers' needs in a better way? Um, and what content isn't working anymore and you aren't getting the results you want anymore? What content do you need to stop producing? Um, so you need to go through your data, you need to go through your analytics and see what content's working and what's not, what you can fix and create better content with, and what just needs to be let lie. Okay, and that's Content Marketing World for 2019. Uh, there was a lot of information to take in, a lot of speakers that were really great, and this is just a snippet of really what we've heard the last couple of days. Um, I hope it got your gears turning for what you can kind of do to make your content better, have a better content strategy, and reach your audience on a more authentic level. This has been another episode of Ezoic Explains.